All right, guys, so uh, here we have the McGraw Edison Mercury Vapor Area Light that I salvaged from the abandoned shop near Casa Grande. So uh, as you can see, the lens has a piece that broke off of it. But uh, other than that, the light looks fine and it operates pretty good. So uh, we're gonna test this out. It's gonna take a little bit, just gonna wire everything up and then we'll get her going. There we go. As you can see, it uh, started out pretty pink and pretty soon it's gonna turn into like a bluish green type of glow as we're warming up. Make sure you guys can see it. So yeah, it's halfway warmed up. So we're just gonna wait for a little bit until it's fully warmed up. As you can see, it's already kind of lighting up this area. So it's not bad. I don't know if you can hear the ballast hum. <laughs> okay. And just a note that this hasn't been turned on until now. I don't even know if this is warmed up all the way. But yeah, I guess it's warmed up all the way. Seems. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, what's crazy about this light is that I didn't even think about taking it. Or actually, no, I did think about taking it. It was uh, back in 2021 when I was riding my bike when I decided to go to an abandoned shop and I saw that light and for some reason I just didn't take it. Okay, person right there. And I just left it because it was too big to carry. But yeah. Okay, now it's definitely at full brightness. So yep, there you have it. The mercury vapor area light that I salvaged from the shop. Actually, I'm gonna go all the way over there, see how bright it is.
So yeah, that's how bright it is. XXX Tom Tassion, signing out. Peace.